the fire without and the fire within. The burning lake. I've brought the mare to the paddock until this fire determines itself. Once the back hills burned all summer, the plume over the ridge, the red moon, no stars to sleep with burning shapes. She remembers fire, lay his shirt, flannel, on that fire, as if he could be taken, it opened with pearly snaps. Horses quiet, owls quiet their nesting owlet groves. Hills reveal their burning kingdoms, hills in devilish worship. How can I sleep with flames so clear? I go walking the neighbor's driveway. I hear him say, this is crazy. Then a woman says, crazy. In smoke, pearls peel open. Horses rest, but the wind has no promise. The mountain pass is closed, so I drive north to go south. This fire asks little of me. His shirt was blue, with thin stripes of a greener river shade. Blue, mountain river the kind that keeps running with a cold sound of splash and brace, a cutting sound of working an obstacle, sound of wind, of rivers that rival the wind. This line repeats itself through the cloth, and if you look closer, you see cream-colored stars within the blue turn to small yellow points in the center, like the center, say it, of a daisy, which was in fact, however unlikely, his favorite flower, which she brought in gathered bunches to the open grave that day when she came near, near as in encounter with the tight part of her mind, that shut up red spot, resistance, she'd later call it, to truth. Black, her tail, back smoking wild oat. There have been closer fires, but tonight, with animals and fences, fire makes its own weather and the dead a burning lake. When she lay those bunches down on the fiberglass box encasing his body, the lie of that gesture hissed from her hands through her heart where she held his brown shoes and a torch and a hammer and bush mills and a knife, his green telecaster and the acoustic she slept with all year, writhing it. She took an ax and an anvil and nail and took his spoon and his secret and beauty. She lit them against him and she watched and she watched and she watched that shut box. An ash bush shook. The mare pushed through head low. A horse can beckon, and did so, turning body to body. And if you think of a grave as a planting, this is my grassland. 